Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we are here to do your love reading for the week of August 6th through the 12th. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And my readings are typically love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. Um, this reading may not be for you, so you really need to understand that. This reading might not be yours. This is for a collective. It will resonate with some, not with all. If it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Again, this is for next week, okay? Now the timing is fluid. This could have happened, could be happening now, or could be happening in the future. We'll see what it is. Whatever comes up for Libra. I'm not going to take any of those because it was three and I only really want to get one. I would have taken two, but I'm not taking three because... <laughs> There's a reason for everything, right? This card was meant to come out. It was meant to come out, Libra. You deserve love. You are lovable. Three cards came out. Third party situations? No, no. No, no. You deserve love. Libra. What does Libra need to know? Beautiful. <laughs> that just came out of my, you know, and I just got the goosebumps. Beautiful. Do you know how beautiful you are? Son of a gun. I don't think you do. <laughs> Come on now. Self-worth. Lack of it. You let your own thoughts, your own worries, your own fears confuse you. Maybe some of you are clinging to the past. Memories of the past right here. Think things are out of your control, and I think you're trying to control something. There's an illusion here, and somebody's clinging to control, wanting to control the outcome. I think somebody is clinging to the memories of the past, and they, they aren't getting the love they deserve because they don't know their worth. You need to leave that behind. You need to leave that confusion, that illusion behind. There's definitely illusions here. There's no doubt. None. You have other options. I think there's an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, perhaps, that you have been clinging to, clinging to the past. But there's no forward movement with this person. There's no success. There's no stability. There's no security. This person is not interested in a long-term commitment and love with you. This person may have already walked away and you're wanting them to come back. And now you don't know your worth because they're not coming back. There's no wish fulfillment hanging on to this situation. It doesn't matter what sign they are that isn't stable. There's something going on behind the scenes with this person that you're hanging on to, the memories. You don't know everything about it. There's secrets, there's lies. You're sitting around waiting for them to come back. Whoever this, whatever sign this person is and this person isn't coming back and you deserve love. It's time for you to let go of this sorrow. It's time for you to heal. Your challenge, 
how other people see you. This is how, this is the challenge, and this is how other people see you. Other people, other people see that you want this to happen. You want this person to come back, whoever it is. Other people see that, but you're lying to yourself. You're living in an illusion. The moon is an illusion. It's fantasy. It is. It's fantasy. And it's because you, you don't know what you're worth. You don't know what you deserve. I think there's been a third party situation. That's why three cards fell out at the beginning. You deserve better than that. Your challenge is the seven of cups is illusion. Choices, options. Your, your challenge is letting go of these this past that doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. And it's pride. This is a card of pride. Letting go of pride. Yes, there's been a rejection. There has. And you're allowing this rejection to hold you back from getting the love that you deserve. You know, the Three of Swords reverse, it's the end of difficulty if you allow it. It's the end of sorrow. But you have to stop being so stubborn and you need to stop holding on. And you need to know your worth. And you don't. You're stubbornly obsessing over somebody could be an earth sign. The stubborn, the obsessive, obsessive. Third party situation. Wanting a reconciliation. But you notice these are all reversed. It's not, it, no, it's the absence of a reconciliation. You need to get out there. You need to date. You need to have fun. Because there's no rom ro relationship or romance growth or... Love that's going to come out of you not knowing what you're worth, living in some sort of fantasy, living in some sort of illusion, trying to escape the truth. The moon card is a fantasy. It's a fantasy. This was something that was false. And you have another another opportunity if you could only see it, if you could if you could realize that. You know, you need to close this chapter in your life. Closure is needed. These are close nines are about closure is needed. This door that you've left open needs to be closed, please. So that you can find abundance in wish fulfillment. It's waiting for you. But right now, there's no solid golden opportunity. There's nothing stable, nothing secure, nothing long-term because you're not allowing the false opportunity to drop away. You, you know? You need to give up. You need to stop. I can see that you're growing weary. But you're also growing resent and bitterness and anger as well. Time to stop hanging on. You're refusing to see something from a new perspective. Refusing to see what you're worth. Refusing to see that there's another opportunity, that there's another option. You're in refusal mode. You're only lying to yourself. Eventually it's going to catch up to you. There's an opportunity for happiness here and bliss. If you could figure out what the hell you deserve. It takes equal give and take in a relationship. And if somebody is not giving, then that's not what you deserve. There's unhappiness, sadness, no growth with whatever this is that you're holding on to. Please, please, please let it go. It's getting old. There's no renewal. There's no rebirth. It's not going to happen. 
You have a new opportunity looking at you. I know that you do. I know that you do. But you're refusing to accept it. You're refusing to step outside of fantasy land. Continuing to be sad, lonely, angry, bitter, resentful because you're not getting what you want. Trying to control. Clinging to control. Not being wise at all. Not being wise. It's time to complete that cycle. When one cycle ends, another cycle begins. And this, you're, they're trying to get you to step over that finish line. You have a major new beginning waiting for you. But you're going to have to turn your back on the past and stop investing in something that is going nowhere. Invest in the future. Invest in the future. Get it? The new future. The new chapter. The new life. Invest in the new. You are being protected. Look at it from that new perspective. You are being protected. The universe has a better plan for you. But you're not listening. You think you know, but you don't know. You don't know. This person, whoever it is, and now you guys can get mad at me, I understand. I wouldn't want to hear this either if I was in fantasy land. Nobody wants their fantasy dashed. And this is a fantasy, and it is, it is. And you think you know, but you don't. The high priestess is somebody that thinks they know, but they don't. Something is over, but you're refusing to let it die. Refusing the transition, refusing the ending. When this new beginning wants to start, it's over anyway, it's over. There's hidden forces. You, there's hidden forces. You are being protected. I mean, that's what, that's what this is. But you're continuing to play the game. There's no victory and success with this game that you're playing. Your ships want to come in. New ships. There's a new arrival. There is. There's a new arrival. There is. But right now you're clinging to the wrong situation that isn't love. It's a one-sided love. You have to let the contract end that is not... I mean, come on now. There's a, a contract that is not destined to be. You can't, you can't manifest it. You can't make it happen. You can't make another person fall in love with you. And if you try to manifest it, it will only bring bad karma into your life. This is the end of a contract. That once was a relationship. There's no more progress going to be made. And you need to accept new opportunities. Get out there and have fun. Stop living in denial, Libra. Stop, please. Take the blindfold. Take the mask off. Accept the truth of this situation. <laughs> Okay, accept the truth. This is the sword of truth. The truth is, is that you were being protected by somebody who wasn't looking for what you were looking for. They weren't looking for the love that you were looking for. They didn't see eye to eye with you. They did not. You guys were not compatible. And now you have a new opportunity to see things clearly as soon as you take that blindfold off. There's an opportunity for new love. A new message of love. It's like the angels are trying to, to reunite, or not reunite, because I don't want to get you guys stuck in your fantasy, to unite you with somebody new. But you have to be logical and move on from the past. You have to. Fear of change. You've restricted your options. 
stop being obsessed and holding on to something that isn't real. There's no victory in success. There's no, there's, there's no peace in that. You're lacking the strength and the courage and the confidence to let go. It's time to let go. Please find that strength to let go. Stop fighting. Stop fighting for something that's never going to happen. There's no commitment going to come out of this. You need to stop focusing on loss and realize that you have another opportunity waiting for you, Libra. So I feel like this is an, uh, the same old story. Somebody doesn't know what they deserve and it's about time they figure it out. There's a new opportunity waiting for you, for love. But you're only focused on the loss. That's never going to resurface, okay? Still, I've been shuffling. Son of a gun, he's still on the bottom. You're stuck. You need to see this. this. You need to stand up. You need to take a leap of faith. You need to move on. Stop hanging around. You deserve love, Libra. You deserve love. Let's get you one of these. This other person has moved on. They have moved on. That's why this third party situation. The other person has moved on. We are going to zoom this in just a little bit and then I'm going to read that card. Spirals of manifestation. Now, 1 plus 8 equals 9. 9 is about closure. Closing a door. A door needs to be closed so that you can go through that new door. For real. For real. Mentally, physically, the door needs to be closed. The creative rebellious path of love moves in spirals. It's not linear. Sometimes our mind decides that the way forward is to take clear steps from one point to the next logical point. However, there is a genius within that can guide us on an alternative route. If there is an unnecessary pothole or delay in the typical linear path of progression, and the curved loop in the path will be quicker, more fun, and more beautiful, then why not allow yourself to be guided to that path? Go to the new path. This can happen through trust and wisdom rather than rigid adherence to what on the surface appear, appears to be logical progression. progression. You are in the midst of a spiral of manifestation. Something is coming into being even if you think it is further away than ever before. How amazing it will seem when what you have been dream dreaming of falls into place. Suddenly what you have been thinking of creating will plonk into reality seemingly out of nowhere because it was just around the bend, just out of you on the spiral of manifestation, and you could not see it coming. In truth, it was coming to you all along. But I have to tell you, you guys, you know, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. Manifesting the wrong situation will never, ever, ever, ever work out. Ever. And that's what's happening. You guys are trying. I know that's what's happening. You're trying to make somebody come back that is not in love. This oracle has a message for you sometimes when we feel... But if it's not, if this won't, that won't be for everybody. Some of you ha are manifesting somebody new. And that's how the universe will work. The universe will, will, will bring you what you deserve. The universe will bring you what you deserve. Not what you want. This oracle has a message for you. Sometimes when we feel the furthest away from what we want, we are actually closer than ever before. 
Just one turn on the spiral loop of creation can see your manifestation taking root in the world. You must hold true to your faith and keep working on your own progress. This oracle brings a message to you about the perfect synchronicities that are taking place in your life. You may have started to notice these already. When we live from the heart, honor our creative center and choose unlikely but lovingly, lovingly rebellious ways to be in the world, we will begin to notice synchronicity every day. It is though the universe is speaking to us intimately on all matters, which of course it is. The oracle reminds you that there is no point in rushing to the bus stop. If you are way too early, you are just wasting your time. Better to live your life at a more appropriate pace and get there at the right time. The, try not to worry quite so much about your future. You will attract what you want and need so much more enjoyably if you relax and deal with the here and now. Remember too that, lo, that your life path is unfolding in harmony with the path of others. You will meet with each other for the greatest benefit when you trust in the flow of the one great creative spiral among, upon which this galaxy spins. Everything is ultimately in harmony with everything else to fulfill the great big creative intent of the supreme creative force of love. All is unfolding, all is unfolding perfectly, whether you feel it right now or not. <clears throat> so I feel like you guys are, are manifesting, you are, and the universe is going to bring you what you need and what you want, but it may not be what you think it is. There's, it may not be what you think it is. And that's what I think it is. I feel like you guys are trying to bring something back together. Wherever that Eight of Cups is, that isn't, it's not happening. It's not going to happen. Because it's not the right thing. It's not. And you're throwing away new opportunities. So I feel like this clinging to control is, is getting old. And it's time for you to realize how beautiful you are and that you deserve love. Stop hanging on. That's what I see. Wish you the best, Libra. I really, really do.